What's up everybody? It's your boy Clayton Filippo back at it again with another informational video. Now this one is addressed to you, the women folk. Now I got some fan mail from someone named Jasmine and she had a really, really, really helpful letter that I felt like should be addressed in a video. So I'll just run right down the questions and we'll get right to it. Clayton, what do you think about female Marines and what concerns do you have for them? What should I look out for? Let me just say that this topic I wanted to talk about for a long time, but I never really had the chance and this is a good opportunity. If you're a woman and you're trying to join the Marine Corps, do it. There's a bunch of negative stereotypes out there for males and females, but women totally don't deserve it. Like I'm telling you, they don't deserve the flack that they get. 6% of the Marine Corps is made up of women. That's it. They're the super, super, super minority. It's that like 0.2% of women that give the whole rest of them a bad name. Some of the popular stereotypes you'll see is like the female PFC that has sex with a gunnery sergeant or the female Lance Corporal that just skates all the time, which she just doesn't do her work and gets by on looks or something. Those are stereotypes. The, women don't deserve that at all. And then the other thing I see is I've had people message me and they go, I'm a female that wants to join the Army or the Air Force or the Marine Corps, but I'm afraid to get raped. Like, I'm afraid I'm going to get raped. That's insane. Like, the fact that that is even a concern makes me sad that, I mean, obviously we're doing something wrong communicating the messages of the Marine Corps, right? That whole honor, courage, commitment thing doesn't just stop after boot camp. So the fact that there's a stigma around the military, it's the old core way is also kind of sexist. And I'm, I'm going to admit it, like, it's kind of sexist. Females haven't been in the Marine Corps forever. It's kind of a new topic, you know, the whole debate around females and combat rules, like, it's still a very heated topic. There's a lot that goes into it. I encourage any female that wants to join the military to do it. Don't hold back. Don't be afraid. Break down barriers. Like, don't worry about what the guys think, you know? And also on that note, don't be one of the outliers. Don't give them a reason to hate. You know what I mean? Like, do your job well. Treat others fairly. Uh, if you're an NCO, be a good NCO. Uh, lead by example. And that goes for males, but it especially goes for females. Now, on the flip side of that is the males. Now, 99% of all males in the Marine Corps are like chill dudes, really cool, nice guys, join for the whole... I want to be a Marine and badassery and all that good stuff. However, the males that want to become a Marine are also the dudes and like, you know, they're like me, you know, when we joined the Marine Corps, we did it for like the glory, you know, it's not a thankless job. Like we wanted to go out there and we wanted to break necks and cash checks, man. Like that, that's what it was all about. Let's not lie. That's what it was all about. Anybody joining the Marine Corps that says anything different, probably are joining for the wrong reasons because it is a badass war fighting organization. However, there's a thing called boot high. Now, being a boot in the Marine Corps is basically like being a noob in video games. Like, you're brand new, you don't know what you're talking about, and you have a high-end tight and all this stuff associated with it. So when you get off a of boot camp, these males have like this boot high where they feel like they're invincible. Like, when you go to boot camp, your drill instructor will actually tell you, don't be a boot, don't, don't feel invincible because you're not. You're just a human. All of us are humans, believe it or not. Uh, when I graduated boot camp, a kid ended up drowning because he thought he was all big and tough and could drive his speedboat as fast as he could, and he couldn't even swim. Like, yes, we all go through swim qualification, but it when you're going up against the ocean, not good. So he ended up dying. That kid is dead now, and that's super unfortunate because life is super precious, you know, and that's crazy. It happens all the time. People getting into fights after boot camp. People going around, look at me, got my dog tags out, feeling all proud I'm a Marine. I'm like, yeah, we get it. Like, we're really proud of you too. But eventually that motivation level will come down a little bit. You'll mature a little bit. You'll level out and life will be better. So my advice for the males out there is chill. You know, when you get out of boot camp, take a step back, objectively be like, I'm a person again. I'm going to be fine. And that actually leads to the next question Jasmine has. It's about, does the Marine Corps change your personality in a bad way? I assume you won't be the same in some ways as before, but is that bad? A little story. Whenever you get out of boot camp, 
you are kind of going to be in like a schedule, like a very structured schedule. So you'll wake up at 4 a.m., you'll want to go PT all the time, you'll get your hair cut, you'll walk a little straighter. Those aren't bad things. The bad part is, like I said, when you're overly cocky and you like pick fights in a bar or something like that, like that's where that can be bad. However, the Marine Corps is not going to turn you into a robot. Some of you guys that go to boot camp at 18 years old or 20 years old or 25 years old, you spent your entire life being you. So three months at boot camp isn't going to change anything. I promise. You'll be just fine. You're not going to be a crazy, scary, you know, Marine. You're going to be you. I'm Clayton. And Clayton came out of boot camp and he was a little bit motivated. I'm not going to lie. I might even throw up some boot camp pictures right here or right here or right here. Yeah, I looked like that. Next question. I've noticed you have a pretty clean mouth for a Marine. Is that just something you thrive for or is that just for YouTube? That's a very good question. Now, if you watch my live stream, you'll notice I do swear a little bit. When I'm not on camera, I'm not going to lie. I swear a lot when I'm just around family or friends. I swear a lot. You know, I got a mouth like a sailor. I was a Marine. You know, you go to work, you put on your camis and you just Throw the F-bomb around like it's hot. Like, who cares, man? Uh, and I actually kind of miss that about the Marine Corps. Um, I mean, when you're in a super professional setting, obviously you're not going to be swearing. But when it's just you and your buddies and your, like, privates and lance corporals and stuff, whatever, man. Like, yeah, we say bad words all the time. Like, yeah, it happens. So to answer your question for YouTube, I try to keep it a little bit clean because there are, like, 11 and 12-year-olds on YouTube and... I don't want them getting the wrong impression or, you know, that good stuff. So I try to keep it clean uh, and I do keep it a little bit polished. But yes, I do swear. I am a person. I am absolutely a potty mouth. Also, when you come out of boot camp, you're, you're going to swear so much. Like I had to have my, my dad actually sat me down and was like, you need to stop swearing so much. And that was like a reality check because I went home on boot leave and I was swearing a lot. And like, I'd be like, what's up, mom? And then I'd drop the F-bomb like five times. And I'd be like, whoa, okay. So again, that boot motivation, you've been being yelled at for three months and hearing all these crazy swear words come at you. Like, just take a step back, you know, regroup your mind. You'll be fine. It's all good. Finally, her last question is, what do you like about the military and what do you love about the military? I kind of answered that question in a video a week ago. It was actually called What I Hate About the Military. I'll put it right here so you guys can click on it. Now, that video didn't really touch on what I love about the military, though. And I'll put it like this. The military life is like 60% good and 40% crappy. When it's crappy, it's really crappy. That typically happens in your first like two years of your enlistment. Life is not good because you're probably a private or a lance corporal getting bossed around. You know, you obviously have to do boot camp and marine combat training and MOS school and all of this crazy stuff. Like, it's a stressful time. But the other 60% of the time is when you're loving your job. You know, when you get to do cool stuff that nobody else gets to do. You get to be a badass marine. You get a good paycheck. You get a steady paycheck. How many other kids are 18 years old are making twenty dollars to $25,000 a year? Not a lot. You know, most of them are going to college and they're actually twenty dollars to $25,000 in debt. So there are definitely benefits to being in the military, whether that's Army or Air Force or Marine Corps or whatever. I mean, you get a GI Bill. You get to go to college for free afterwards. You get set up with these skills that are like nobody else gets, you know. A lot of people think that dumb people join the military. That's not true. Like, yes, there are dumb people. There's always going to be dumb people. But... You get out of it what you put in. And it's better than any college education. I can promise you that. And she followed up with, P.S. I'm looking into public affairs or combat camera. I'll probably do a video here very soon, if you guys want me to, about what public affairs is and what combat camera is and what's the difference. Because they're very, very similar. They're almost identical. In fact, they're going to be combining the two MOSs into one very, very soon. And a lot of you don't know, public affairs has also been changed to the MOS of Mass Communicator. I hate that name. It sounds like a robot. Like, I'm a mass communicator. Like, I hate that. I hate it. I like Combat Correspondent. I love that name. Like, that's awesome, right? 
public affairs, you get to go attach to grunt units, you get to go deploy, you get to go travel, you get to shoot video, write stories, do social media, do photography, it's awesome. But mass communicator sounds like you're just putting a tweet out and, you know, a hundred people look at it. Like, who cares about that? Anyway, I'm super passionate about my MOS. I loved my time in the Marine Corps. I'll definitely do a video about all the great stuff about being in the military if you guys want me to. On that note, I think we'll end it. Uh, if you guys want to reach out and ask any questions, please, please, please do. My Twitter and Instagram are at Clayton Philpo. Um, there's also a PO box in the video description. If you want to send me any fan mail, ask any questions, you send video games, maybe, you know, uh, and there's also a Patreon account right down below there, patreon.com slash Clayton Philpo. And basically that's kind of like a Kickstarter, but when we reach our goal, you guys get a five part series about Marine Corps exercises, PT, nutrition, weightlifting, cardio, all that good stuff and five videos so you're like set for boot camp. All right guys, that does it for me. Uh, I think we'll end it there. So, oh, oh man, I'm a, I'm a Marine. I got muscles now. Walk a little short. Wait, 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 wait. Take a step back. Take a step back. You're a person. Whoa. All right. Later guys.